don't forget that uh, we do have these beautiful angels. Are we going to do those now? Okay. Oh, good. We're going right to the angels. So these were a big hit when we debuted these last year. They sold out, I believe, twice. And then we had them on once already this season with Marika. They were already very, very popular. So Ginger's here today. We're going to show them to you again. Remember, you're getting a set of two. These are the Solar Angel Garden Stakes. These are done in a poly resin that looks like stone. Mm -hmm. Because they're resin, you can get a ton of detail, which we'll show you. But remember, these light up at night they because do. they have a solar panel. Now, if you wanted to take her completely off the solar panel and just have her be a pretty little serene statue, she can do that. She's pretty even when she doesn't light up. But you can make the uh, solar stake different heights. I mean, you can really customize this. And it's been a huge hit with our customers. Over 20,000 sets of these have been sold. I'll tell you what, this is one of those easy ways to decorate, and I love that we've given you that versatility of being mm -hmm. able to take her completely off yeah. and being able to just put her as like a little statue inside or, you know, kind of nestle her into your landscape. But we do give you the steak. The steak actually has, yep, you've got it right here. The steak has um, the part that goes right into the ground, which is pretty generous size. You can take this middle section out mm -hmm. to give you a third option mm -hmm. and then that's where the solar panel is right there and it's it's just going to go right into the body into the body then there is an on off switch that's underneath as well so when you get this at home there will actually be a little bit of a film that is over that solar panel peel that off okay before you go ahead and put it in the on position and put it outside and as you said she looks like she's made out of stone she's actually made out of a poly resin material to get that extreme detail let's kind of go through the detail of, of the very top because you can see that beautiful crown of roses with her hair flowing also the gorgeous detail in each one of the wings she has her hands cupped in prayer and leaning on one knee and her toes are kind of exposed a little bit but as you can well. even see the toes even and her toe can, in the back even the toe in the back i'll turn her I all mean, the way around the, look at the detail there's her other look little at toe. that isn't that precious mm -hmm. the wings look like they're going to cup around her just to protect her it's it, just extreme detail all the way from the top to the bottom. She is about seven inches tall and about five inches uh, for the width on the on the um, the wings. And then that solar energy is going to collect. You can actually move that solar panel to collect the maximum amount of energy and then make sure it's in the on, on position when you get this at home. And then we're gonna actually lower the lights here so you can see the illumination. It's going to come very so, just so, subtly up into the very body of, uh, of her and kind of illuminate all the way okay, upward. Here's, the, here's some video we shot first of her outside in someone's garden. She looks absolutely beautiful in a flower pot or in the ground. She's not super large, so she is a good size for a pot. Yes. Or if you like my grandmother, I was inspired so much by my grandmother as a little girl. She had a huge terraced garden in her backyard in Steubenville, Ohio, with statues hidden everywhere. Oh, So I used nice. to climb up those stone steps kind of precariously and look through all the ground cover and flowers she had and I'd find an angel or oh. I'd find a St. Francis or I'd find a little bunny or something. I love And that. I just loved playing in her garden and looking for things and that's what this reminds me of. And in my garden today has statuary everywhere oh, because of that. that. Yeah, You know, it, it's a great way to decorate, and one of those things, too, about it is because of the material it's made out of, that poly resin, put it out right away when you get it. It's completely treated to leave out outside all year round, mm -hmm. and because it's um, getting that solar energy, you don't have to worry about turning it on, turning it off, or, yeah. or replacing the batteries. The batteries will be recharged every night, um, every day during the day in the sunlight, and then it will illuminate. And, and you're you get getting two. a set of two, yes. You get two. I love that. So you can keep one, give one, or I use these uh, angels and bunnies are all over my garden as far as statuary. I have uh, pet memorial areas in my garden for so my pets pretty. that have passed. Uh, I love garden angels, but she does make a wonderful gift if you want to give it to someone for Mother's Day or she Easter. She does. Yes. Uh, for a first communion or something oh, like that. Oh, it's a that. great idea to give. And uh, remember, you can make her stake tall or right? short or not at all. Or if not you want at all. Her to just be a statue that doesn't light up. That's right. So stay in the ordering process. Four payments today of five seventy one for the set of two. This is the first day we've offered four easy pays. Ginger, thank, thank you, you so much. Great to see you, hon. Now, we've got Cottage Farms in the show with Daylilies, and we're going to move into that next.
we're moving fast today. <laughs> All right, so uh, Katie Dubose here, who is a wonderful new part of our Cottage Farms team. 